Greetings and welcome to another episode of Sanctuary Symbols. Today we're focusing on the symbol of the unicorn. Now there are three places in the sanctuary where you might notice a unicorn symbol. One is on the processional cross, which you see behind me. The other is on the kneeling cushion that is dedicated to Jesus. And the third is on a set of candelabras that from time to time are part of our chancel setup for worship. In scripture, there are numerous references to a single word creature. That creature, when it moved from the roots and location of the story's origin into Europe, became identified with the mystical creature of the unicorn. In an article that he wrote, the, a gentleman by the name of Steve Jenny wrote, who was Alter Guild co-chair, we learn a little bit more about the cushions and about the meaning for the artists who designed the unicorn candelabras. Um, and so I'm gonna share with you from that article. It reads, the needle point kneelers were crafted by women of the congregation and dedicated in December, 1982. They were designed and the project was directed by Lee Florence, then chair of the commission on worship. Mark Deshawn developed the designs. The kneelers lining the chancel rail name the 12 apostles and depict legends connected with each. I've spoken of those in previous videos. The Trinity is represented by three kneelers, two by the altar and one mounted on the prayer desk used for weddings, confirmation services, etc. The candlesticks were donated by Mary Benoit and her son, Richard Dayton, and by Dan and Nancy Presley. They were designed and crafted by the Wilmington sculptor, Charles Parks. In his remarks on the occasion of the dedication on February 24, 1984, he described their symbolism as follows. They are designed as a pair to be used as a pair. They are bronze, silicon bronze, quite strong. He used a simple Greek cross at the base. One leg of each thorn comes out of a leg of the cross, suggesting the Trinity and supporting the unicorn. The pod which holds the candle is sort of like the head of an acorn, a good symbol of rebirth. The candlesticks are mounted on an antique verde marble. The impression the artist tried to give without getting too busy was that the legs and thorns were sort of a tangled up and that the unicorns were rising out of the thorns, suggesting the spirit of Christ rising out of the thorns. According to the author of the article, the unicorn has been likened to the horn of salvation. Mythology has given us the story of the unicorn dipping his horn into the water to purify it for all the animals similar to Christ purifying us. According to the artist, the thorns could be symbolic of the thorn bush of Isaac's ram or the crown of thorns. The processional cross was also designed and crafted by Parks and represents, or I should say, repeats the unicorn thorn motif. It was added to the collection at a later time. What are we to take away? Well, when we look at the unicorn in our worship space, with the crown of thorns associated with it, we are encouraged to remember of God's pure love for us in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit, a sacrificial love, a costly love, a love that makes it possible for us to have our sins washed away, for us to be made pure as snow, to start to live lives worthy of that gospel proclaimed by Jesus. So that's the good news for us this day. Take care and God bless.